The wrestling capital of the world this week, and with a newly expanded field, anything can happen in the first two rounds. Starting at 106, Mount Vernon senior Clayton Perot, he makes sure there's no surprises, keeping his undefeated record intact. Fourth place last season, what's feeling good this year, Clayton? Uh, I'm actually 106 this year. <laughs> last few years, I mean, my freshman year, I was a 92-pounder, and so it's been a kind of a work trying to get the muscle mass and getting up where I need to be. This year, I'm actually able to compete at the highest level that I can. A pair of Union Knights trying to defend their state title Braden Bonesack at 113 picks up the pin and heads to the quarters. And at 126, Jace Hedeman, a two-time champ, showing off the vicious cradle and gets the stick. Up to 175, Enemosa's Austin Scranton, a 45-0 bonus point machine coming in, sticks his man with a second period fall to earn a spot in the quarters. 215, South Tama County's Gavin Bridgewater says it wasn't the fast start he really wanted, but the senior, who's finished top three twice, will certainly take the major decision. He's trying to to capture his first state title. There's leaps and bounds I can do more than that, so I gotta keep pushing and show that I can be at the top of that podium. Let's head to 3A and at 113, defending champ Alexander Pierce of West picking up right where he left off as a freshman with the sub one minute pin. 120, a 12 5 battle, and maybe the best name in Iowa high school wrestling, Mitchell Pins of Dubuque Hempstead, pulls the upset with a tight 5 4 win. 165, that's not Oscar the Grouch, it's Kennedy's Colin Falk. The senior says he isn't sure about the new hairstyle, but he is sure this was a great defensive maneuver, avoiding the takedown and getting the pin. Well, I felt a lot of pressure coming into me, and I was like, if he gets his takedown, I'm going overtime, so I need a little desperation move, so I decided grab his chin and just throw him and see what I can go with it. 175, Max Magena of Waterloo East trying to be number 33, the next four-time boys state champ in Iowa. He's off to a great start, 54 seconds for the pin. Pinning everyone through the whole state tournament, that's of course the goal this year. Uh, I wish I could accomplish that last year, and so I put in the work to make sure I could do it this year. Chelsea will have more from 1A coming up at 10. From Wells Fargo Arena, Jack Lito, TV9 Sports. One of the